Saint Anthony of Padua Saint Anthony was once in Rimini, Italy, where there were a great number of heretics. Wishing to lead them to the light of the veritable faith and way of truth, he preached to them for several days and reasoned with them on the Catholic faith and holy scriptures. But the people there resisted to what he say and became more hardened of heart and refused to listen to him any longer. Seeing this, Saint Anthony by divine inspiration went down to the shore where the river runs into the sea. From the bank between the river and the sea, he started to preach to the fish in the name of God and said, Listen to the word of God, O why fishes of the sea and of the river. The fish come to listen, seeing the faithless heretics refuse to do so. No sooner had he spoken these words than suddenly saw greet a multitude of fish, both great and small approached the bank on which he stood. Never before had so many been seen either in the sea or that river. All kept their heads out of the water and attentively gazed at the face of St. Anthony. All were arranged in perfect order and most peacefully, the smaller ones in front near the bank, after them Camathos a little bigger and last of all the biggest. When they had placed themselves in this order, St. Anthony began to preach to them most solemnly, saying, My brother fishes, you were greatly obliged, as much as in your power, to return thanks to your Creator who has given you so noble an element for your dwelling. For you have at your choice both sweet water and salt water. He gave you many places of refuge from the storms. He gave you yet more the pure and transparent water and food for you to live. When God, your bountiful and kind creator, made you, he gave you a command to increase and multiply, and he gave you blessings. In universal deluge, all the other creatures perished, and I alone were preserved from all harm. He gave you finsto enable you to go where you will. To you it was granted by God's command, to conserve the life of the prophet Jonah, and then after three days, to throw him back, safe and sound, on dry land. It was you that gave the tribute coin to our Lord Jesus Christ when, because of his poverty, he had not wherewith to pay it. Finally, by a singular mystery, you served as nourishment of the eternal King Jesus Christ, before and after his resurrection. Because of all these things, you are bound to glorify and bless the Lord who has given you blessings so many and so much greater than the other creatures. Hearing these words and teachings of Saint Anthony, the fish opened their mouths and bowed their heads. With these and other signs of reverence they glorified God as much as was in their power. Then, Saint Anthony, seeing the great reverence of the fish towards God their Creator, rejoiced greatly in spirit, and said in loud voice, Blessed be the eternal God, for the fishes of the sea glorify him more than the men without faith. And the animals without reason listened to the word with greater attention than the sinful heretics. As Saint Anthony continued to preach, the multitude offish increased, and not one left the place it occupied. After the miracle Saint Anthony preaches with success in Rimini for some days. The news of this miracle spread, and the people of the city made haste to go and see it, including those hardened heretics. The latter, seeing so marvelous and manifest a miracle, were touched in their hearts, and looked for Saint Anthony to hear him preached. Then Saint Anthony began to expound to them the Catholic faith. So nobly did he preach that all those heretics were converted and returned to the true Catholic faith. The faithful, also, were greatly comforted and strengthened in their faith. After this, Saint Anthony dismissed the fish with a blessing, and they all departed, giving marvelous signs of joy as they went. The people also, filled with joy, returned to the city. Then Saint Anthony remained some days in Rimini, preaching and doing great spiritual good in the souls of hearers. If you are inspired please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos about stories of saints.